Well-seasoned guide Daryl Gilbert joins the Ongaro's hired hunt team and pulls off an amazing combo hunt despite the hottest day of the season. Daryl's super dog Deke also helped out on a duck hunt as Jason set the upright blinds at the edge of a big chunk of marshy water during the heat of the late afternoon. I take a group to a rolling 640 acre field to hunt some very confused ducks during a rapid weather change. Here we go again. I'm Claudio Ongaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across five million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. We're gonna go up here to uh, Gerald's farm and uh, we got a uh, duck spec Canada combo. Not a ton of Canada's, a few. And uh, lot, there was lots of specs and a pile of ducks. So hopefully it's stuck. We shot pretty close to it this morning. Hard, the birds we shot at this morning should have ended up in there. We'll see what it looks like tonight. That is a target for tomorrow, so we'll find out what happens. Yeah, there's nothing happening here yet, which is kind of strange. And I hope their program hasn't changed, but it looks like it might have. There's a couple other fields close that they may have jumped to. We got ducks coming out. They're coming out of the puddle, but are they gonna, are they gonna end up being in here? Uh, this morning they were they were in here good. Last night they were really in here thick. Right now we don't have anything going on, but we haven't seen a lot of birds flying. So until that happens, we'll hang in here and see what's going to go on. There's a field just up the road where they may be going into another pea field. Like there's too many. There's I don't know one four pretty close pea fields right here. But it, it's early, so until we know for sure what's going on, we'll just watch these ducks, see, see if they do go down. They may not, they may just swirl around and come back in here, so we'll find out. Another half an hour, we'll know. Just watching this field here tonight, and uh, been watching this one for a while, and it's actually looking really good right now. Got birds coming from multiple roosts, uh, specks, canadas, ducks. Ducks are puddling on this little pond to the northeast of the field. Canadas coming from the southwest, southeast, and then specks coming from the northeast. It's shaping up pretty good right now to be a good morning hunt. Canadas are coming in small bunches. Perfect. Threes and fours and twos and tens. Dropping right in there really quick. They're just giving it up easy this field. They've been in there for almost a week. It's it's pretty cool. Um, man, the specs are doing it. They're flipping upside down, dropping right in there. They can be a little tricky, but uh, there's enough Canada's in there to make up our geese. It's looking looking really good. So these, these uh, geese may have changed the program a bit. I mean, I'm only a uh... Oh, about a half a mile away from uh, the target field, and I just seen a bunch of geese come out of the roost, and it looks like they're going into a baled pea field over here. They've been in this field before, but I don't like seeing them for the first time somewhere and having to hunt it, but uh, if, they, if they're, oh yeah, the roost is full of birds. And it's a day roost, it's not a night roost, so we'll keep an eye on this and see what's going on. See, I gotta stop and see what the heck it is if it's conkers or if it's specs. It's honkers and some specs. I don't know what else is in the field. And we don't have permission on this field yet, so 
it may or may not work anyway. We'll go see if we can get permission on it right now. Brad, Brad's going to uh, look at a puddle hunt that we know is good. He just picked another hunt up on a uh, field north, north of my location here where I'm at. So we're starting to get a little bit of control in this hectic night and hopefully it'll just keep getting better from here. Claudio gave us the go for this hunt in the morning. Brad's got a good combo hunt lineup as well. Both field hunts for the new groups coming in. Pretty excited to hunt this one now. It's been a while watching it uh, build up to good numbers, but just a duck tornado going on. Late evening, really hot day. It was almost 31 degrees today, but uh, the ducks are feeding heavy tonight, which is good. We'll get out there in the morning and pay them a visit. Holy, it's dry out here. There we go, the pin is in. A little bit of extra effort, but uh, we're good for the morning. Now we're just cutting some fresh uh, poplars, actually. Cover up the uh, blinds a little better. It's been so hot here the last few days that uh, we really just have to get some fresh cover pretty regularly. The, the leaves dry up. There's, it's just really dry and hot. So replace it with some fresh stuff, and we'll get those birds in a little tighter, finish better. We're just setting up a side shoot here out of the big bush blind. Uh, this pea field has virtually no cover. I don't know if it's just the wind that's carried a lot of it away. We're gonna set up a, basically a big J and uh, take them on from the side. Just the way the roosts are and the way the wind is right now, it's gonna be the most effective for us this morning. We're gonna mix hunt here. We've got some, uh, some Canada's, some Specs, and uh, a bunch of Mallards and Pintails using this field. Been watching it for a long time now, but uh, it's finally taken shape into something that uh, we made into a good target. Yeah, we're, we'll finish getting set up here and get at these birds some more. Oh, hey, we're at uh, my duck hunt. It actually is uh, kind of a smaller combo, but uh, we're going to back up Daryl. Daryl went out this morning and he shot uh, close to his 40 Canada geese, uh, limited geese, and then uh, he was a little light on the ducks. In my hunt here, I got, you know, three, four hundred ducks and they're puddling on, a, on along the fence line, on the north fence line, so, and then coming out and feeding with the geese. We didn't really want to uh, hunt this because 
we don't want to wreck the goose option is either but being the puddle far enough away and typically the ducks will come out of the the, the day roost and hit the puddle earlier probably even before the geese will start coming so I can get in there and uh, and shoot our ducks before the geese come plus being a section they're feeding kind of in the middle we should be far enough away so we're gonna drive in right now and uh, check out the puddle and